Hello, I am Demurks, and we're going to be playing some Tropico. But first things first, let me uh, change the music volume. Okay, well, the mouse is being weird, but we're going to continue. Actually, we're going to load up the new... We're going to make... Play... We're going to have a sandbox game. And why am I playing this? I don't know. Porta... El Grecio... Moderate. Well, we'll make a... We'll, we'll, we'll have a new island. Politics is the skilled use of objects, skilled use of blunt objects. Hmm, do you think that's correct or not? I'm not sure, and the music is still pretty loud. I'm gonna go probably make sure if I can hear my own voice over this. Um, politics is made up of two words, poly which is Greek for many, and takes which are blood-sucking insects. <laughs> Gorbidale. <laughs> Vegetation, sure. Mineral deposits. Island size generate. Democracy means simply the legending of people, of the, pe of the people, by the people, for the people. That looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go forward. Political stability is gonna be about average. World economy, it's tourism. So we started in 1950, it looks like, uh... We'll play it to 1980. And we'll have Rebel Yell, we'll have Rebel Yell on. It's the proud tradition of my people. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Forward? We're gonna have a custom avatar. We have no DLCs yet. No, this guy looks like he's got a problem. Sure, we'll keep the epic mustache. But no, let's let's have him. Kingpin. Oh, Luchador. <laughs> no, no, he's not gonna be a Luchador. Um, he's not gonna have his casual. He's a greaser. Let's have him be an admiral. No, he's gonna be male. Complexion is hat. He's not gonna have a shake of our hat. No, he should have a suit. Yeah, he's gonna have a suit. He's gonna have a nice tuxedo. He's gonna be, and he's of course gonna have that in that epic beard, An old school mustache, gray mustache, no mustache, white. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a mustachio for this uh, playthrough. Let's see if we can get him a beard. And he's gonna. He, this is. He's gonna be the new pirate version of El Presidente, except he's not a pirate. He'll be a leftist offer installed by the KGB. Hey, a frequent utopia. Give it your fervent utopian writings to the communists movement. You spent your youth. You spent your youth at peaceful de at peaceful demonstrations, throwing rocks at government buildings, setting policemen on fire with Molotov cocktails. When there is a protest, you are always there. It's kind of awkward when you're protesting against your own regime, but you can't help it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna play. We're also a populist and a patriot. I see red! <laughs> all counter-revolutionary wars are unjust, and all revolutionary wars are just. 
<laughs> I don't see how that goes, but maybe that's why I'm not now. Oh, God. So, first things first, we'll pause it. I'm not going to bother explaining most of this for a while. First things first, we need a road connecting that. I don't know why the W key is to build the power plant. But so first things first, we're going to expand the road a little bit. This eats up a good portion of our island. So this is going to provide a little bit of an interesting thing. This is going to be our tourist habitat. So we need, uh, first things first, we need some... We need some industry. We actually need food resources. We need to get our uh, logging camps up for our economy. It's been a while since I've played this game. We need uh, another logging camp. It'll make the environmentalists pretty angry with us at the start, but it'll be a uh, kind of uh, seat of our economy. And we'll need also a tenement. That should have, we should have just enough money to make it through. And we're going to turn on the music even more, because it is just, eh. Options. Music is loud. Okay, so, you guys should be able to hear me a lot better. As you can see, we got our base building sound. <laughs> and the people of Tropico are doing a fairly good job. These dock workers are all building their houses and... Oh god, they go to build here first. No. Progress. Do not go and build. I want them to build that, but they always decide to build houses before they build workplaces. Yeah, and the lazy builders are getting to work. Actually, they might not be lazy in this game, but in Tropico 3, they were just lazy beyond repair. So now you go and work on this place, a housing location for my workers, the brave workers of Tropico. As you can see, our island has this quite beautiful lake in it. We may have to go for tourist industry, being we don't have any good land for farming and probably no good land for minerals either. With all these lakes, yeah, it should be a... Too bad this isn't more of just besides a small creek, otherwise they could just have a boat sail in and then set it up here. But... Yeah, tourism is something we're going to need to go towards, probably, to generate enough money. And the political stability on our island is not that, uh... So we may lose out here. Five new immigrants to Tropico. So there are immigrants coming off the boat. We of course are going to need to work for them. Or some place for them to go and uh, work. Since I believe all these are taken up. We'll keep fast expanding. We need farms, of course, corn. But we also, more importantly, will need a uh, besides a farm. We'll need something that we can grow. For coffee works pretty good up here. So when we work around here, we'll build coffee farms up there. Pineapple. So it looks like we're gonna have pineapple farms because we need something uh, for actual like export.
Tobacco is the usual one we would build, but tobacco does not grow good on this island. Sugar does, though. And we're going to expand the road out here. So, we're starting to at least uh, make some money. Oh yeah, we're going to set max... Uh, Imports on ship. Yeah, the max imports on a ship are going to be 10,000 right now. No more of that will be imported. General rule of thumb for this type of thing is uh, don't import. Unless you're making a lot export, you don't really want to import as much as. You want to try to avoid importing stuff for as long as you can. We have a volcano on our island. Financial aid from the USSR, from the US, and the USSR. Apparently, we're more oriented towards capitalism and communism, but we still need that financial aid to continue developing. What does it recommend I build another tenement? We'll, we'll build some housing for my people. How much does these cost? Okay, yeah, well, this is all we're gonna afford to build for a while. We'll get two new housings for my people. As you can see, this is Tropico. It's not much right now, but it will get larger. I know, most people have this, like, big intro to their Let's Play. I don't. I'm more like, yeah, let's just go do this thing. Which, I guess, is my intro, so it's a bit hypocritical of me saying that, but... Oh, well, you know. We gotta find, first things first, we gotta keep all of our people employed, so people will come and, and then we gotta go build something for them to be happy, but we can't afford to do that right now. So, uh, we're building up our farm first here. We've got all these farms to build. Oh, we should go build the road more here too. We'll have it going right at... We'll have it going right across the coast. That'll cost about 20. Tropico's actually, it's a per, its a paradise, but it's a small island. You know, it's its your typical Caribbean island. Beautiful on the outside, all the vegetation, nice trees, beautiful beaches, and, and poverty stricken on the inside. And everyone, no one has jobs, everyone's out in shacks. I'm trying to fix that, but, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We've got all the farmers to start growing our crops. What are you? You've got no people living in you? Shanties never charge rent. Oh, we've got nice houses for the soldiers, at least, since they're the only ones who can actually afford it. So once the lazy builders get done with their whatever they do on the weekends on my island, we'll look at the people. Buena. This guy, well, he's a lumberjack. He was born in Tropico. Buena tarde. He was born in Tropico. She was born in Tropico. Uh -huh. She was born in Tropico. See. Si? He was also born in Tropico. He's, he's old. We were, we we're bringing in new immigrants. Excelencia? This person's coming from Haiti. Buena tarde. This person's not an immigrant. This person already found a job. He's Chitava Rodriguez. He's coming here from what I guess is Colombia. It's not telling me where it's from, but I think that flag is Colombian. I may be wrong on that, but don't quote me. Nine thousand. 